Well, of course, last year millions lost power when those freezing temperatures hit our state. So are the lights going to stay on later this week? Yeah, good question. That was one of the biggest news events of the year for sure. Today, the governor held a press conference to discuss what changes the state has now made to prevent this from ever happening again. Six News reporter Andrew Moore tells us what he had to say joins us now in studio. Hey, Andrew. Yeah, last year, Abbott and other officials promised they would fix the issues seen during winter storm Uri. But is that really the case as we go into this week's ice storm? Well, here's what they had to say. We have uh, a, a very substantial winter storm uh, coming into Texas over the next few days. Governor Greg Abbott says the state is doing everything possible to keep Texans safe as cold weather approaches. But many are still wondering if the lights will stay on. So will they be ready this year? Well, here's what they said. At least 99 percent, if not more, uh, of the power generators in the state of Texas have uh, passed inspection or fully operational. Power plants are now required to prepare for cold weather, and Abbott says they've gotten it done. The state will need most natural gas plants to be ready to turn on this week, and PUC Chairman Peter Lake says they are making sure that can happen. That any maintenance was conducted preemptively so that all resources available will be ready. Of course, natural gas plants need gas to run, and last year some of their fuel providers were accidentally shut off. Abbott says those providers have now been designated as critical to keep that from happening. Now there are more than 1,500 facilities designated as critical infrastructure. Finally, Lake says power plants will have extra gas on site. Our generating fleet has procured extra fuel, uh, both coal, gas, diesel, and fuel oil. And they will also have repair crews standing by just in case. And finally, many agency leaders are begging the public stay off the roads when that storm comes in. TxDOT will be working hard to treat roads when possible, but there is still a good chance they're going to ice over, so it's better to just not take that risk. Guys? Yeah, it could be a messy couple of days. Thank you, Andrew Moore, live in studio.